Hi, I'm Larry Stewart with Four Construction Pros. I'm in Las Vegas. Just before uh, Con Expo, Con Ag is uh, about to open with Allison Primo Black, who's the uh, chief economist for uh, the American Road and Transportation Builders Association. Okay. Allison's been kind enough to get together with us uh, and share a preview of ARPA's economic outlook mm -hmm. and uh, some of uh, what we're expecting uh, with the Highway Trust Fund coming up. Allison, uh, the the picture actually doesn't look too bad for uh, highway spending in the in the U.S. What's the what, what's our specific outlook? Well, we're expecting a little bit of growth in the coming year, in the range of about two percent in real terms, after you account for inflation and material prices. And this is a little bit welcome. We've seen declines over the last five years. It's been a really tough market for pavements. We've seen state and local governments pull back on their spending. Um, the federal aid program has helped to support what's been going on the last few years in the industry, but um, it's been a tough situation. Yeah, well, um, uh, the, the bridge market is actually showing some real promise. Correct. The bridge and, and market. It has been all along. I'm sorry to interrupt. Absolutely. That. No, it has. For the last five years, we've seen steady growth in the bridge construction market, and it actually reached record levels in 2013, and we're expecting that to continue. And over the last 15 years, and that's in part because we've seen a fundamental shift, a lot of state DOTs and local governments have been putting more of their resources toward addressing some of their bridge needs. What are some of the other sectors where, the, where things are moving forward? We've actually seen uh, some strong recovery since the recession in ports and waterways. Uh, airports, uh, both runway and terminal work, we're expecting a significant increase in work in 2014. Uh, railroads have been doing well, as well as transit investment. Just about everything except the pavement market has okay. shown some good growth. Okay. Well, and, and uh, the, uh, the, it, it should be pointed out, though, that, that one of the reasons that things are looking a little more positive is that the states are, are uh, ha they have more money to spend. That's correct. We do have about a dozen states who have passed some sort of initiatives. Uh, we've seen a number of them where we're expecting an increase in the program because of some of those uh, revenue options that they passed. So, for example, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Virginia, Maryland, those are four states, Wyoming and Vermont. Uh, Wyoming actually passed a straight gas tax increase, which we haven't seen in a number of years. So, mm -hmm. although these are positive developments, a lot of these states have also been very forthcoming that the additional revenue still isn't going to help them meet the actual needs of their system. So we're getting there, it's the right direction, and it's a positive development, but we still need uh, significant more levels of investment to address uh, needs nationwide. There are also states that are uh are showing revenue improvements you know, outside yes. of outside of, of initiatives that would increase their revenues toward uh, toward um, infrastructure spending. Absolutely, and we've seen over time uh, the health of state and local economies is one of the best ways to predict how much they're going to be spending on transportation. And we are starting to see a recovery in overall revenues. We're not quite at pre-recession levels. Um, but that is encouraging, and we have to see that happen before we start to see that turnaround in the national market. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm curious, you, 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 since you mentioned pre-recession levels, mm -hmm. how, how close are we? We're pretty close, but the challenge is that we're looking at revenues coming in, but states also have a lot more commitments in the last mm -hmm. five or six years. They have hundreds of thousands of more students that they have to educate uh, in the education system. So even though revenues are recovering, uh, the expense side is also increasing. So there still is a gap between total state financial commitments and revenues coming in. But as we see that getting smaller and state and local fiscal health improving, that's when we'll start to see uh, more investment on the state and local side and roads and bridges beyond what they're doing to match and support the federal aid investment. I see.